Having experienced over 20 cumulative years of intense volleyball competition and training, Nicole Russick and Sally Shoemaker can tell you for a fact that this is real. When on a volleyball team, it is guaranteed that when one girl becomes sick with a cold, flu, or any other communicable, communicable disease, everyone is in danger. Look at those faces all smiley and happy after a friendly game of volleyball and some good healthy competition? Well, not if these girls are sick. Applying our new awesome acquired MATLAB skills, we will predict the rate at which girls on a volleyball team will get sick if one girl is sick. This way, we can predict how much vitamins and treatment the one girl will need or perhaps how much we'll have to have in stock in case one girl gets sick at a tournament, therefore saving the team's health and allowing for good, healthy competition. Rah! To determine the rate at which disease is spread on a volleyball team, we will apply this differential equation where R is the rate that girls get infected per day a is the rate of removal per day, I is the total number, number of girls that are sick, and T is the time in days. Taking our journey to MATLAB, uh, we once again define our parameters where R is 0.5, A is 1 7th, and DT is a step of 14 days over 100. And then our first method that we chose was the Euler method where we have the initial condition of one person being infected. And here's our differential equation where the exponent to the r minus a times t is the amount infected and r minus a is the parameter. The second method is the predictor corrector method where the initial condition is again one. And the first part is the exact same as the Euler method but in the second part, the step change is dt over 2. In the final method, the runge kutta, uh, we once again set our initial condition to 1, and we use the built-in MATLAB function ODE45 and put in our, or refer to our function f, which is right here with inputs t and i, where i is the amount infected with the parameters already included and the differential equation. As so, and then our limits, 0 to 14 days, and the initial condition. Here we have our, all our de details for plotting the functions, as, as you will see shortly. And here's the plot. So all three methods were plotted on the same graph. Uh, as you can see, the trend is exactly the same for each of these methods. It can be shown on the graph that the asterisks representing the predictor corrector method give more points on the trend line or on our trend of girls becoming sick than the runge kutta method, which we can conclude 
that the predictor corrector method is more accurate because there are more points per time. The Euler method gives a solid green line, though all three of the methods predict a very straightforward trend showing that the number of infected players will increase exponentially after about a week. Given a more challenging equation, the dt or the step value could be put as a smaller increment that this would allow the function to be graphed more accurately. So if one of these girls gets sick, or if any player on any sports team ever gets sick, stock up on your vitamin C. You've seen how fast they'll get sick. And we don't want this guy to take over and ruin the fun. Thank you.